I'm at Waterfront Park downtown today for the Rock and Roll Marathon Expo. It's where runners are picking up everything they need for the races this weekend and where they'll cross the finish line. Earlier, we talked with one of the race organizers about everything you can expect through the next few days. This is one of our signature events with our organization. We love coming here. This is our 26th year doing the event here. So it's always a highlight of the season. 26 years here in San Diego. Uh, we were also just talking about how the fact that this is the this is the original rock and roll marathon. This is where yeah. it started. Everything started here 26 years ago. We had a big celebration for the 25th anniversary last year. This year's celebration is that we're at Waterfront Park for the first time with our health and fitness expo, where all of the athletes will come and pick up their gear, see the latest and greatest in running apparel, nutrition. Uh, then they can have some fun with the goals in the game zone and just enjoy the whole experience of the expo. It's super great that we're able to start at Balboa Park and kind of one of the main attractions to town and then winding through all of the unique neighborhoods um, throughout the city and bringing us right back to Waterfront Park at the end. Definitely have neighborhoods where the community gets involved. They come out and they cheer on the runners. We have aid stations all along the course that are helping the, the runners get the nutrition and the hydration that they need. Uh, as well as just uh, our massive army of volunteers that this would not be possible without having them out there to help the runners and the organization to make, pull it all together and make it happen. Coming up at 4.30, hear from a longtime San Diego running coach who's trained thousands for the Rock and Roll Marathon. His best tips for running your best race. Here's a map of the marathon route. The course is marked in red. It goes through Normal Heights, North Park, Hillcrest, Old Town, and Mission Bay before ending at Waterfront Park downtown. You can expect closures, delays, and lots of music and people along the pathway. Detours will be in place to redirect drivers in those areas.